Welcome to Prosperil Handmade. In this tutorial, I will show you how to make three types of hair fascinators with a millinery supply kit. First, we'll use crinoline. Crinoline is soft and easy to work with. To make a bow, measure about 12 inches in length on the crinoline, cut it. Fold it in half to determine the middle. When you have gotten the middle, spread out the crinoline and let the tips meet and overlap slightly. Pleat the middle and sew tightly to form a bow. You can repeat this step for many hair bows. Ensure the middle of the crinoline is neatly pleated. You can also combine different colors. You can attach the metal comb to the back of the crinoline with thread and needle and add the flower stamen embellishment to the front. Cover the center of the metal stamen loops by bending it over gently. For another style, pull the thread on one side of the crinoline gently. Ensure you do not pull the thread out completely. As you pull, adjust the other side. This gives you a circular shape. Join both ends of the crinoline and pleat the rough edges upwards. Use a needle and thread to sew it up. This gives a small round base. You can cover the rough edges with an embellishment like a flower. Make Sure you attach the comb first with a thread and needle or a hot glue. The crinoline can be a bit slippery for this style. Try to take your time. The measurements of the crinoline should be at least 12 inches. It can be longer than that. You can also use feathers to embellish it. As you create, try it out in front of a mirror to see if you will like the style or not. For this tutorial, I will show you how to make crisscross hair bows with crinoline. This is easy to make. Simply determine the middle of the 12 inches crinoline, fold it over and pleat. You can repeat this with the same color of crinoline or another color. You will need to make two bows. Use needle and thread to ensure the pleats stay in place. You can use a metal comb or a headband. Simply fix it with thread or hot glue. I recommend using thread to keep it in place. Mix and match to suit your dress or outfit. Take your time while creating. Crafting should be a fun process. You can be creative and decide to make even three hair bows. You can also create hair bows in smaller sizes like 8 inches or in bigger sizes like 14 to 18 inches. If you are creating a bigger size, it is best to attach a headband to it to accommodate the size and ensure it stays firmly in your hair. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments section. Watch the next steps and simply repeat what I have done. The placement of the hair bows is in a crisscross form. You can simply double it. It depends on your preference. Like I noted earlier, you can dye white crinoline also to reflect other colors. I will explain how to dye crinoline in another video. Ensure the two rough edges of the hair bows face each other.
Attach the embellishment in the middle and secure it by bending it over or gluing it in place. I recommend using a needle and thread to glue both hair bows in the middle. To fix the comb, you can cover the upper part with a ribbon to make it neat. Then apply glue on the upper part of the comb and glue it on. You can also use needle and thread after attaching the ribbon. Every metal comb has tiny holes which needles can pass through. Take your time to create something neat. Cover the comb with a ribbon and leave space to ensure it fits into your hair and voila, your crinoline fascinator which is in a hair bow style is complete. The second fascinator will be made with cinema. Firstly, measure the length of the comb, double the length and cut out one inch across the length. Use hot glue or needle and thread to attach it to the comb. This will be the base on which you will place a design. Simply watch the video and follow the steps. Measure 4 by 4 inches on the cinema to get a square. Follow the next steps. Measure 4 by 4 inches on the cinema to get a square. We are going to make a lily flower shape. Fold in a quarter of an inch, a really small bit of the cinema on the left side and on the lower part. Basically fold in an L shape. Then pick up the other corner which is unfolded at the top and fold it halfway to meet the middle point of the L shape. Follow the next steps in the video. Fold it in to form a cone. Tuck in the left side into the right and use glue to stick it together. Ensure it's dry. Then firmly hold on to the glue parts and pull the round edges of the lily gently. This gives you a fluted lily. You can repeat this as many times as possible. Cut out more pieces and repeat the same process. You can make the lily bigger by cutting out a bigger measurement on the cinema. Simply ensure that it forms a square shape. You can alternate the size as well as the color.
Embellish the lily by inserting feathers into it. You can use different types of feathers depending on your preference. You can also use flower stamens. Ensure you place glue at the tip of the embellishment of your choice before inserting it into it. I'm going to try different feathers now to help give an idea of how it will look. Remember, you are free to combine different colors. You can also decide not to use any feather at all. I am going to repeat the same process for you. Just watch and enjoy the process. You can use flat back beads to decorate the lily or even the base of the lily. Enjoy your creative freedom. Arrange the lilies created on the comb base and glue the on neatly. You can spread them out or stack them up. It all depends on your preference. For this tutorial, I will stack them up. Fix them neatly and voila, your Lily Fascinator is ready. The next section is a Feather Fascinator. Use full feathers, choose the color you prefer. Cut up 10 to 12 pieces. Arrange them in a circular form like a flower-like shape. Pick up the ribbon which you pulled the feathers from and cut out 2 inches. Trim it neatly and place glue on it, then arrange the feathers on it following the circular flower form you initially made. When you have done this, place glue at the middle and fold it into two. Pick up fabric flowers and trim them. Also cut out a short ribbon to cover the top of the metal comb. Glue the feathers on and glue the flowers on. You can try these simple methods to create different fascinators. 
Remember practice makes perfect. Now, which fascinator do you like the most? The crinoline fascinator, cinema fascinator or feather fascinator comment below and subscribe to Prosperil Handmade for more easy creative millinery DIYs. Thank you.